Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for propane C3H8. So we start with our Lewis structure and let's look at the molecular geometry around this central carbon atom here first. So the central carbon has four groups attached to it. It has this methyl group here with the carbon that's one, hydrogens, two, three, and then finally over here, this other methyl group. So four different groups. That gives it a steric number of four. And we can use this table here to help figure out the molecular geometry. So we have a steric number of four, and we don't have any lone pairs. All the electrons, they're involved in chemical bonds. That gives us a tetrahedral molecular geometry. So the carbon here has a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And we can look at it like this. So let's start with our central carbon atom here. We add two hydrogens like this. They spread out. And now we'll add the methyl groups, CH4. There's one there. They spread out. And here's the other one. So everything is spread out. We have bond angles of 109.5. So you can imagine, here's the CH3 group, here's the two hydrogens, and here's the other CH3 group. So that means we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry for the carbon here, and that would look like this. The carbons on either end, they're the same, they're symmetrical. They have four things attached to them as well, so a steric number of four, and they also have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And that bond angle here, would be 109.5 degrees. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for the carbon atoms in propane, and thanks for watching.